Hello everyone, I'm Anime Master. Welcome to another Sonic 1 hacking tutorial. Now in the, this tutorial, as the title should say, and the video, is I will be touching up on, well touching up, I will be going through um, sort of basic art editing this time, design editing, um, we touched up on layout last time, uh, showed you my tips and tricks to make neat layouts and different things, different different uh, suggestions I suggested to you to help you in layouts. And so we're going to actually attempt to uh, do some basic art editing and I'll show you that it's not too hard to do art, but again, depending on what you are going to do, I will again explain as we go along. Now, the programs we'll need is Sony D2, so like last time, if hopefully you should still have it. Of Sony D2, and I recommend Son Map ED. Now I'm going to quickly show you here. If we go over to Sonic Retro once again. Really, for most of your tools, you want to go to Sonic Retro, so I would always uh, recommend this for that. So um, when that comes up, I'll just go to Sonic Retro, and basically we want to go back to the program section, and then. Um, basically we want to find some EPD. Now there is how-to guides, again I'd recommend these as well. Now I understand it's fair enough if you're not going to have a look at the Sun Map ED guides because you're going to listen to me, okay. But you know, I mean for all I know there might be stuff that I might not even mention so it might be worth just having a quick skim even if that. So if you look here you've got you've got Sun Map ED by username Chimpo. Okay, so if you want to look at these how to guides, again, I'll probably put these in the video description, then I would recommend that. Okay, so if we go to programs, and the best thing to do really is just go to Sonic Hacking Utilities, makes it a lot easier. If we scroll down, and we go to keep going the graphics editors, and we should find. Or should I say the mapping editors? Here we go. This is what we want. We want some map ED. Alright, so I'm not going to download it, but I'll just show you. Okay, so once you've got that, come back to me. We won't be using it at the moment, but we will need this for the first part. Alright, so open up Sony D2. And now, as you can see from last. Time. This is what we'll have in our layout. And so now we want to go back to the tile editor, which I touched up last time, the layout editor. And we now want to sort of delve into how to start basic basic editing. As you can see, we've got the uh, simple checkerboard styled, um, or squared if you want to do squares, check checkerboard styled art going for Green Hill Zone. As most Sonic people will know, if played the classic games, will know the. Um, checkerboard kind of uh, graphics uh, and um, yeah so the first thing we want to touch up on is I mentioned chunks and as you can see here uh, the highlighted square here we've got a highlighted square up here and we've got a highlighted square where my mouse is and if we left click and that's double left click not right um, sorry double right click I should say I always get them mixed up double right click not left click um, le left click will basically just paste the block you've selected like that but of course we don't want that, it doesn't look right so yeah if we left click on say a block whatever this is selecting, the 16 times 16 block and this is the block that comes up and so if we want to then actually edit the art in Sony D2 we then right click and then we've got the tile now this is where we edit it, we can't really you know we can't see anything in this block so it's basically created for an actual tile and we actually edit the tiles and then the changes will be shown here here and in the um, chunks as well but this doesn't look quite right as you can see it's you know it's the wrong colors now if you notice up here 
we've got pallet lines. Now this first pallet line is normally the sonic pallet line, which is obviously the one we don't want. Um, so this would be zero, no, zero, not one, zero. The next one will be one, and the next one is two. Now two, as you can see, this is the correct one, and this is normally for, uh, say, level art pallet, things like that. This is the sort of one you want to go for, for the FG, I should say. Uh, and the fourth one is for basically the BG palette. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, this is the right one we want to go for. So, we're going to start something easy. As you can see here in the palette row, so you've got white here. Now, uh, as I may or may not have touched up, see there, I can just check the values you've got red, green, and blue. And it's really simple, you just experiment with the values. Ooh, that's not looking right. Ooh, ooh, ooh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's not looking good. But um, yeah, and I'll, of course I'll be touching up as with, with palette as we go through it as well. So yeah, that's a simple way to edit palette. I'll tell you what, let's, let's change all this green into something else. All right, let's experiment, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave all these values and I'm just going to add a blue. I'm going to add four to that. And I'm going to add four to that. I'm just going to add four to that. And as you can see, I'm sort of making it kind of like a purple rather than what it, what you're used to, I suppose you could say. Uh, a purpley kind of color. Okay, very strange. Right. So let's go back. And revert that. Now I'm going to change it so it's not even going to be brown. I'm going to change it to a different value. This is all before we will touch up on the actual editing of the art. Right. Okay. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to reduce this to nothing. And then I'm going to put this up by 6. Ooh. Like so. Now of course this is going to look strange. But this is just a demonstration. So I'll put that down to 0. And put that one to 8 instead. So it's kind of just swapping the blue for the red. There you go. And put that to zero. Ooh. And put that to C. Kind of got a blue palette going on here. Quite dark blue palette. Move that to E there. Like so. Yeah, so it's kind of like a bluish green hill zone now. Again, move that to there. Okay, so that's basically how you edit palette, and you can do the same for um, the background if we go to plain B, and there you've got the background, and again, you want to right click everything if you want to select something, and to actually paste it, I can't do it here, but to actually paste it, you actually, of course, you left click, so, okay, but as you can see, because the background actually uses part of the palette of uh, the FG palette line, uh, row 2, so uh, that's the thing to know. If you if you're going to edit backgrounds, you know, best thing would be to check and see what uses what. Uh, so if you want to do a small edit, but it affects the background and you don't want it to happen, you know, you might have to you know improvise or change it or revert back. So and remember to always keep up backups if you're doing something new. You know, just in case you make a mistake and you you know you, I don't know you can't undo or something, then it's best to have a backup. So, very, very, very important, guys. Very important. Right, okay. So now I'm going to revert this back very quickly. I probably should edit this out, but it shouldn't take too long. I'm a fast clicker. So I'll just <laughs> speed the process up. Alright. Okay. And of course there's other things other than the checkerboard, but I'm just basically um, going over the, the obvious, the obvious word, of course. Okay, we've reverted back, alright, so we'll go back to our first chunk. Now just to show you again, this is our chunk selection. If we go over here, these are the blocks. And here are the different blocks, let's say for example we've got the totem pole there. Um, got like bits of the loop, bit, bits of the ramps there, you've got the BG blocks, you've got these are like on, on unknown blocks and stuff so you might want to use this um, 
for something or you know you might, you might want to redo the tiles or something else you never know spare tiles as it were and things like that but of course I'm just going to do it that which if you look here it's just this block 01 so yeah you can see what number block it is and whatnot. Now I'm just going to quickly say up here we've got low plane and high plane as you may have guessed if it's low plane um, Sonic's in front of it and if it's high plane um, it's over Sonic so it's like Sonic walks behind a wall or something so um, that's just sort of used for the trees when you put the monitors behind so the monitors uh, are behind the trees kind of hidden and not like sticking out a lot so yeah there's a nice little tip there okay so now we've got our tile up we're going to actually start editing now the way this is set up the checkerboard block here is you've got um, the normal as it is there but if we go over here and we look here and it says draw a B wood now basically it's just been flipped the other direction and if we go down here and we do the same and as you can see here it's flipped again but down here and then again here you've got normal now you can change this so it goes upside down and you can go upside down B wood as well opposite direction you could basically say it's just like up down left right really that's, that's how I would say it or or you could say um, northwest northeast south or however you wanna go 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 with it really but um, it's not too difficult okay so now that we know this it's time to start editing so I'm just gonna grab this palette color here and it should be the same as this so it is so just do that and as you can already see it looks a bit strange because we're already erasing it and then you've got complete blankness now we can start editing and say for example let's do something random start from the corner start from the corner and then we'll make is bigger, so it's sort of like a diamond shape going on here. Keep going, sort of like that. Now we've got a simple diamond shaped pattern. It looks okay, you know. It's nothing spectacular. It, it looks all right. That's you know, that's about it really. Um, nothing, nothing too spectacular going on there. But that's sort of basically how you go. And of course, if say for example you just want them all normal, I could just that back and there very strange pattern but we've already got another pattern just because we've reverted them all to normal and again you can say for example uh, do the opposite and say do with this which um, already you've got a weird looking different weird looking shape um, do what you do what you will of that but all for the demonstration and um, as you can see here it kind of looks like an X in this block but here again it just looks like um, our triangles, our triangle shapes there so yeah that's just, just sort of a little experiment really and uh, just sort of go with that so I'll just again I'll just uh, remember now with tiles you've got to remember that um, some tiles may be used somewhere else so say for example you know you've got the tiles here that are used in the loop now say for example you draw you edit a tile and you see it in a block and you think it might be the only block that it's been used for. Then you see something else edited and it's a bit scrambled up and then you think hmm you know and that's that's one thing you've got to um, check and look carefully. When you're looking at chunks or blocks, uh, if you go over a block but you see like I don't know something else with the same tile or something similar, just hover over it. I mean it may be the exact same tile duplicated somewhere else so say for example this tile will, will probably be like the first tile okay no it's not it's a tile 54 say for example there's another tile and you think oh it's tile 54 but it's actually I don't know tile CD or something so it's just worth a check if it is or if it isn't and it's the same but it's obviously duplicated somewhere else so um, you know it shouldn't edit that so just a, just a note about that really right okay so we've, we've got a simple palette and you know we can do it for like the, um, the shadow under the grass you know we've got uh, the darker palettes here that we can mess, or mess about I should say now I'm going to revert back 
I don't think I've got the right 